it's me and today I am cozy but for today's video we're gonna be checking out some things that are very annoying when you step in water wearing socks <laughs> oh no they ruined this is even worse when you're at somebody else's house you have to ask to borrow socks it's annoying hacks this is what I do it's actually salvageable if you just get your toes wet because then if you get your toes wet you know what I do I just like stretch it out let my sock chill like this until this part dries <laughs> We got wet sock gang. Don't even get me started about wet sleeve gang. I've really seen people wash their hands without rolling up their sleeves. They just like will go in there and be unbothered by it. Are you okay? Like, oh man, I hate wet sleeves. That's like top 10 uncomfy things. When you order a glazed donut, but you only order one. So they give you a baggie and not a box. And then you take it out and then it's all smeared all over the bag that they put it in. The bag was like, well, you didn't eat it in 3.5 seconds, so I helped myself. But you know what I do? I got me a nice chocolate dip and just take it and then just delicious. What the f <laughs> It just went boom. As a thick scoop. Y'all hear that? Thud? <laughs> When your roommate is so lazy, they can't take two and a half seconds to take the empty toilet paper roll, throw it in the trash, and put the new roll on. <gasps> it really doesn't take that long. It's so easy, especially when you have like one of these holders where you could just like slide it off. It's not the one that you gotta like pop back into place. How could you be this lazy that they just gonna put it back on? You know, at least they put the roll there. At least the roll isn't on the sink. But still, y'all making this annoying for no reason. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. They were like, you can have one slice of pizza. One slice, whatever slice you want. Okay. I don't like crust though. That's fine. Just don't eat the crust. Okay, you said I can have any slice. So they just sliced that in the middle. Just <laughs> ruined the entire pizza for everybody else. You getting slapped for this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That would have been a nice piece though. Perfectly cheesy. Got all of the center cheese. You're going to jail for this. Ooh, nothing like having some good old syrupy pancakes and then the fork falls in. Then you gotta look around, wave at your waiter, and ask for another one. You know, I always used to avoid talking to my waiter, and then my fork fell on the ground once, and then I was just like, yanked another fork from another table. Ain't nobody there yet. Free real estate. I made this mistake once, never again, where your cookie is too big to fit in the milk. Whenever I'm eating cookies and milk, I always evaluate the size of my cookie, and then I go get a glass that has a rim big enough to dip the entire circumference of my cookie into the milk. Preferably submerge it entirely, but yes, this is unfortunate. It's not like you can just snap it in half. No, we ain't got that kind of upper arm strength. Y'all ever feel that random poke in your back when you're just chilling on your couch or bed and then a whole entire duck feather emerges from the pillow like you was there all along? Spiky. <sighs> this photo right here. This is photographic pain. When you got one of these little mother effers just growing in the crook of your thumb. And it's like no matter what you do to it, you pull it off, it's gonna start bleeding. It's gonna hurt if you leave it. <sighs> I don't even wanna look at this anymore. This is done ruined my whole night. <laughs> If uncomfortable was a picture. Oh man, I hate this. It's like when your sleeves are so tight and then you put on a big jacket and then once you're putting on the jacket, the sleeves go up with it. Like, no! And then I learned you have to like hold them like this, grasp onto them while you're putting on the jacket. So it doesn't like roll up with the sleeve. Very uncomfortable. Do not like. Or you're wearing those little ankle socks and they start slipping down your heel and you gotta keep pulling off your socks. <gasps> Why you don't stay up? I didn't want a piece that touched anybody else's piece. Y'all already took the corner pieces, so I'm gonna take this corner piece. Okay, I understand that because I am quite the connoisseur of corner pieces, actually. So if I want a corner piece, yes, I'm gonna ruin this whole dang pie for that corner piece. Fight me. Stop struggling with those stubborn plastic packages. I'm sorry, what did you say? You are literally supposed to be the anti-plastic package. You literally come in one of the packages that I struggle with. This is the final boss of plastic packaging. Get it through this guy and then he'll become an ally and help you with all the rest. <laughs> but y'all are scumbags for packaging this in one of these packages. When you rip off a piece of toilet paper and you got that little squiggly line. Every time I rip off a piece of toilet paper and it got one of these like little danglies, I always have to rip off the next one. So the next one is clean. And it's like if it doesn't rip perfectly, I have to cut another one. Because it drives me insane. I don't appreciate my end piece being defective. CVS is known for their very long receipts. They bought one item and this is a hundred pound dog for comparison. Y'all see how long that bad boy is? 
What's even on it? CVS Secrets? Let's increase our prices so we can make our receipts even longer. Ew, I don't know what they stepped in, but that's gross. Y'all ever step in something and you're like, what is this? I don't know if any of y'all like taste it. No, that's weird. Sometimes I smell it. Make sure it's not poop. Just find some grass and just like move that ass. <laughs> Nothing like a brand new pack of batteries and then you rip the back off of it like bruh You know this is one of the many reasons that I have long nails so I can just like shh, Use them as a little box cutter You know I looked at the beginning of this pic and I was like that's a mighty fine wooden porch And then you keep going and then ever so slightly they just disconnect from each other Ooh, the bloodline ends with me. They just don't connect Throw the whole thing away putting my rocket chair back inside. I don't want to sit outside and look at this I don't know which is worse, putting your feet on the back of somebody's seat or your whole entire scalp and all the hair follicles. Ugh, man, what if I gotta pull down my tray? What if I wanna eat? If we eating hair? I don't care, I'm hungry, I'm eating this hair. I really can't believe. People just don't care. They're like all up in people's face. This is just straight up rude. Somebody did this on TikTok. I got a fat wad of gum in their hair, plus some extra. <laughs> This is horrible. They ship their toothpaste in the same package as a dumbbell. Amazon, this you? I'm surprised they didn't give you like a human sized box for just your toothpaste. No bubble wrap or anything? Y'all got the employee that was gonna quit after wrapping this package. Sir, your milk literally has a cap. You could open it and close it. We had to do it the old fashioned way. I mean, it is a carton. You could do it either way, but we gonna ignore the hole that has its own cap. <sighs> Slightly infuriating. Oh no, now you've done it. Now you have done it. I was fine with the last one, but they took this juice. Opened it from the bottom? Your child does this, there's something wrong. You gotta feature psychopath in the making. Those have a hole, specifically for the straw. All of these lights are off. Yes, this is exactly how my home is built. It's like, in a perfect world, when you hit the lights and it's pointed down, they're off. This one, wanna be different and be like, yeah, yeah, I'm off, but I'm on. It's up, down is off. Why do you have to ruin the whole wall with your shenanigans? Don't you just love going to a public bathroom? And they got one of these sinks. You got a good inch of space between the water and the wall. And these bathrooms got the nerve to put up those signs like, make sure you wash your hands, lather them up for 20 seconds. Like, bruh, I can barely put a finger under this water. What you want me to do? I'm gonna just wash one fingertip at a time. Is that all right with you? No matter how slow I peel something, this always wants to happen. Every time I buy something with a sticker on it and I try to like go so slow, and then it leaves a little residue. This is very annoying. I paid money for it. And now I really gotta waste my time peeling the sticker off. Like if I pay for it, y'all should remove it for me. Get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. There's always somebody who loves to ruin it for the rest of us. On this pie, there are lines, clear lines. They did you a favor, so you get the perfect slice every time. But no, this slice is too big for me. I want a slightly smaller slice. We don't completely ignore these lines. This ain't no rebel. This is a whole entire criminal. Y'all probably been to jail a few times to be able to pull this one off. Calm down, man. We just talking about pie. Amazon shipped my hot sauce without any padding. <laughs> I guess the box couldn't help himself. Mm. Why is it spicy? Okay, but every time I order a bottle of something, they will wrap it up really good and it still somehow finds a way to like leak all over. I don't get it. It's like they know they're shipping a liquid and they just take the box and just <laughs> onto your doorstep. This has only happened to me once. I have no idea how. It was a very old soda can. When you try to open the can and the cap is already like a little loose and then it just pops off like, what now? You take a pair of keys, stab that bad boy and shotgun it. Or I tried this hack a few days ago where you can actually use a can opener and take the lid off and just drink it like a cup. Problem solved. Coke consumed. Hotel Trivago. How to be the most hated person in school. Instead of sharing your gum, just take out some hubba bubba and just take a chomp out of it. Hubba bubba this. You've ruined it for everybody. At least now nobody's gonna ask you for gum. Ain't nobody want that? Don't you just love when things are on sale? The sweet tea was $6, but it's on sale in bright text for $5.99. If you go to the grocery store, they do this all the time. Y'all can't bring it down one penny and be like, ooh, big sale. 
Wow! Something about the human brain. You see the big red and yellow sticker and you're like, oh, I'm getting a good deal without even looking at the price reduction. And that's how they get you. A lot of places will do this where they will double the price of an item and then put it on sale for 50% off. So you think you're getting it for half off, but really you're just paying the actual price. They do be playing these mind games with you. Oh, don't we all just love picking up a pistachio? And it's one of these with a the little slit. It's not ready yet. He ain't ready to come out. When you pick pistachios off a tree, are they just like closed up? And then they put them through a factory and then they slightly open them so you can get the nut out easier? How do they come naturally? Because I know they ain't like halfway open. Hmm. Anyways, these are going directly in the trash. Because I've broken way too many nails trying to struggle pop these open. It's like a pimple, but worse. People on the plane who sit like this. Ooh, let somebody try to do this to me. I can't even stand it when people like touch the back of my seat. When people touch the back of my seat, I'm instantly like, <laughs> no, be gone. And she got the nerve to put both her sticky, crusty, musty feet on the back of somebody's head. Like that's all right. It's a good thing people aren't allowed to sit in middle seats anymore. Definitely a Karen here. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some very annoying things that might just ruin your day. You've been warned. Me having a single bite of gluten bread. Why are you just going like that? Not everybody deserves to self-serve their own slushy. Then my head hit the wall. Boom. Ah! Ew! No! Then my head hit the wall. Boom. You know, sometimes bug crawling on me, I don't want to kill it, I don't want to squash it, but I just, I flick it off. I don't care. Oh, what are we making? Oh, you forgot a hair in there. You forgot a hair in there! They forgot the hair! Hey, that looked delicious. Oh, I see the hair! At least you found it. Now you can just, just pull it out. Hurry now, feed it to your crush. I'm guessing that's why they left it in there. Wait a second, don't even let that distract you from the fact that they poured egg and cheese over bananas. But it looks good though. Oh, you can move it. Oh, why does it go back? Stay. You must teach it like you teach a dog tricks. Move it, tell it to stay, and give it a treat. Maybe then it'll cooperate. Ah, oh, that cushion is filthy. Disgusting. Clean it, make it like brand new. Oh, whatever vacuum you're trying to sell me, I'm gonna buy it. Get the last part. You missed the spot. They just gonna leave it? You just gonna leave it with some stubble? With a filthy chin? I hate this. Never let them know your next move. Oh, that kind of looks fire. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ruined it. Man, that would have actually been fire. You know, instead of using a lid, pop a donut on that bad boy. Even got a hole for a straw. Ah, uh, yes. The perfect cut. I love videos like... <laughs> what went wrong? You know, I thought this was going to be perfect. They even had a line to cut down. <gasps> Hey, what happened here? How did the glass break? Why are you putting it in the noodles? Don't stir it. Don't saute this. This is a meal that could have been salvaged. When I said I wanted to eat something crunchy, this is not what I meant. Who are you trying to murder with this meal? Oh, those are gonna be juicy. Wait, they don't look that juicy. Hey! You're supposed to squeeze the orange. It has the juice. There was no juice. You know, I know those oranges look a little dry, but I... Prefer those ones. I prefer a dry orange. So some oranges are made for eating and some are made for juicing. The dry one is actually delicious. Tastes 20 times better than a regular orange, in my opinion. I don't know, I had an orange tree and it would make those like dry oranges, but they were so good. Best orange I've ever had in my life. Or maybe I'm just a freak. There is always that one person in the household that does not like to listen to humans, to dogs, to containers, to boxes, to instructions. That person is me. You know the little dotted line that says cut here? No, I don't think I will. The peanut butter? Take the nearest sharp object and just stab with the lid still on. A hole's a hole. As long as you get the peanut butter out, the oatmeal packet, as long as I can... Does not matter how I cut it. I literally don't care. I'm an adult. I buy my own groceries. I open them how I want. Just cut it. Oops. Oh. Come on. Oh, no! Shit. Okay, we gotta cut. Oh. No! Kendall! Okay, let's cut this thing. Oh! Get the yeah, chef to do it. Do you want um, the chef to make you a snack? I'm making it myself. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. Oh man, this made me angry. It's not that hard. Hold the side and then cut. Please stop! Uh, some people just do not belong in the kitchen. Some people should not be handling a knife. Kendall Jenner, I'm looking at you. That one girl on TikTok, that is the green part. What happened? That is a perfectly good bite of ripe watermelon. Except you holding it from the perfectly good bite. Nah, this looks more appetizing. 
First time eating watermelon? Do you also eat your burger with the wrapper on? Straight to jail. Oh, let's talk about the people who eat their Kit Kat like this. You can't just... You must separate them, break them into individual pieces. There are four of them. Four Kit Kat sticks. You know, some people just want to piss the world off. And this worked. My mom always told me to keep still when wasps come near. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you brave. If I had a medal, I would give it to you. I don't mind bugs when they're like buzzing around, like I'll keep still. But when they that close, buzzing around in your business, no, 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 no. I will take a step back. I will take several steps back. Perhaps I will run the opposite direction. You let that wasp get real snug and cozy. At least let him buy you dinner first before he start crawling on you like that. The awkward moment in a restaurant. I was cool there. I felt this on a personal level. Did you not see me? I am in the process of ingesting an entire kebab. Can you just like take a hint? Did you not see me just shove this in my mouth? I can't properly enjoy my food when I have to just like expedite the process of swallowing so that I may give you your answer. No, no, no. The worst is like me just getting my food and just how's everything tasting? I haven't even taken a bite. You didn't even let me try it. How am I supposed to know if it's good? Me, every time this happens at a store. I blame the clothes for not being properly on the hanger. If it was my fault, and or if there are people next to me, I will pick it up and I'll be like, ugh, I put it back on the hanger. Otherwise, nah. You could walk past a rack of clothes and something's gonna fall. It wasn't me. I ain't putting it back up. When there's no toilet paper, but you already on the toilet. It cannot come out. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Horrible feeling. Horrible. You know what I've done? Desperate times cause for desperate measures. Do you really want to know? <laughs> this has happened several times to me. I have a bidet now. Toilet paper optional. But before when this would happen, that toilet paper roll, there ain't nothing there. Sometimes I'll have like half a sheet of toilet paper wrapped onto that. I will make use of that until I can get more. The one that I'm not so proud of is pulling a toilet paper holder out of the trash and just, okay, you know what? This will do. Anything will do. What'd you think I was gonna say? Use my hands? When the soap got extra thrust. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't trust those. I don't care how fancy your soap dispenser you got from the home goods is. I don't like those. The metal tips, no. I don't trust them. That's why I like the foam soap. That's all I got in my house. It just dispenses the foam gently in the palm of your hands, not like this. These dispensers, rude. You don't know how much soap is gonna come out, how hard it's gonna come out, or whether or not it will end up in your hand or in your eye. I just wanted 250 Gs. No, sorry. If you put in a grain of rice, how would it go up that much? This scale said no. You will not get the perfect number. Not today. Man, my OCD, I will keep taking out grains of rice until I got the number I wanted. Uh, we're not eating this until it's going to be 250 with a zero. Perfect numbers only. Everybody is stopping to take pictures and holding up the plane. <laughs> I mean, that's a cute dog sitting with a stuffed animal. Also, they let your dog just sit right next to you? No. I was on a flight the other day and I brought my dogs. I usually never travel with my dogs, but they said you have to put them in the carrier and put them under the seat the entire flight. I'm like, sir, are you kidding me? And of course, my dog was yapping the entire flight. They need to be held. How would you like it if I put you on a shoebox and shoved you under the seat? Oh, that was nice. Cut some more. Satisfying. Cutting it with a sword. Hey. What, what, what are you doing? That's the best part. That is the best part in the middle. No seeds, no nothing. Why do you keep letting it go? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna just leave. That's it. I've had enough of this guy. He's just be cutting the best parts of the watermelon. Just letting it fall to the ground so he can get that perfect middle piece. What about the rest of the melon? What about my melon? Bro pulled up a chair and a plate. The disrespect is unbelievable. Oh, that is satisfying. Oh, it just keeps going. Hey, you did that on purpose. You just messed it up. Maybe they didn't do it on purpose. Maybe they were just trying to make the straightest line possible and then just skirt a little off track. Perfectly satisfying video ruined by a shaky hand. I was today years old when I realized 
Realized what? What did you realize? What did you realize? A fork can stop a pizza? Yeah, what did you realize? That you can drag a pizza with a fork? That you can tap the fork on the crust of the pizza? I'm so confused. I hate it when people cut off their TikToks like this. Why you just leave me on a cliffhanger? What did they realize? Y'all gonna have to comment this below. Cause I don't know. I don't have the answers to everything, but I do have a sippy cup. Ah, I didn't even know there was dirt under there. So you just keep hosing it down and it stays dirty. Car got a lot of trauma under those headlights. Crying tears of dirt. Why won't it close? Why every dishwasher got this problem? No, you gotta do it hard. Hard. Harder. Yeah. I thought she finally got it. Nah, that's broken. The dishwasher, you just gotta like, with all your strength, just... If you're not strong enough, you gotta use a foot. Sometimes appliance abuse is necessary. Ooh, can this could use a little spice? Yummy. Yeah. Oh no, that's the racha. Yeah. Hey, what the... Yeah. I thought it was ketchup. No. Are you also eating the entire kitchen? Since you wanna sauce it all up? Bro had to go off track. Oh, this is gonna be satisfying. Why did you do that? Bro was waiting to eat his food. No, I gotta record a video first. So impatient. Congratulations, you ruined your own video and meal. And you got slapped. The only thing that would make this better is if you didn't get to eat your own burger. I'm gonna refund. Oh, this is always satisfying when you peel off the lights. Brand new tail light. It smoked, it looked good. <laughs> was it even attached? How did it just pop off like that? Yeah, I would get a refund too. He bought his car off wish.com. Stay open. Ow. That was a little aggressive. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Did you try asking the container for consent? Well, if that doesn't work. Just... Did that work? Send this to someone to ruin their life. Their life? Over a pizza? Is that bad? Oh, uh, no, that wasn't that bad. Y'all tried your best. Not everyone can be a professional pizza slicer. But I mean, if you can't even do that right, there might not be any hope for you. Nice. They made this divine. <laughs> it like smooshes the cans. That was unsavory. Hey! You were doing it fine just a second ago. Smoosh the cans. It needs to smoosh them more. You are a tool built for one task, crushing cans. You can't even do that right? I just purchased this apple pie for pie day and the grocery store forgot to take off the spider security tag. So you take some scissors deal, and then you just, just cut, cut it off, right? It. There we go. Yeah. Oh, uh, how do I make the alarm stop? Uh-oh. <sighs> Shoving the alarm inside a pie will not make it stop, unfortunately. Man, I hate these things. Not these ones specifically, but alarms like this, you literally have to, like, undo them, take the battery out of it that is making it go off. Shoving it in a dessert is not going to help. Hello, friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some very annoying things. Babe, 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 let me show you a trick. Okay. What is that? That was a big thing at orange juice. <gasps> What's the trick? I make a mess and you clean it up. Ah. You know, if you moved it back a little more, it would have actually been a cool trick. It just kept getting worse and worse. We spill this all over the ground and then for the finishing touch, destroy the glass. It was the glass fault that it didn't take the orange juice. They peel the sticker. Very satisfying. Love. Now, why did you go and do that? I thought they were gonna fold it. You know, it was gonna be a satisfying video. Ah! Ben Swanson, hope you have a horrible day. I asked for no ice, and this is what she gave me with a straight face. My anxiety watching her clean this. So she sprayed the ketchup. Oh no. No, 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 no. If I saw somebody cleaning like this, I'm snatching the tissue. You have lost your cleaning privilege. Have you never cleaned a spill before? Were you raised in a family of royalty? Even then, it's like, you gotta be an absolute moron. The way she spread it even more ignites an anger I have never felt before. Please, just wipe it off the table. I have the urge to clean now. You know, after I'm done with this video, I might spill ketchup on my counter and wipe it up to do it properly. The more I watch it, the more angry I become. Oh, is it ingrown hair? How does she know? Oh, 
Ooh, there's like three of them coming out of one hair follicle. Oh, pull it out, pull it out. Oh, okay, that was nice. But is there more? She didn't pull it out all the way. Surely there is more hair under there. You gotta pull it by the root. So you got the little white stuff on the ends. That is satisfying. What you got on your tooth? Hey, 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 hey. Why is there a jewel on it? Oh, <laughs> you know, I was so distracted by the pimple on her tooth that I didn't see the piece of food that was stuck. She removed it twice, right? You saw her remove it twice. And then somehow she's gonna swap saliva and then it reappears, respawns. Where does it keep coming from? It's like when you tell somebody they got something in their teeth and then they're like, and it's still there. What the actual frick? I need a refund on those last 15 seconds. <laughs> Why? Coffee places are disrespectful for doing this. Cause it's like, you order iced coffee. At least half of the drink is gonna be ice. Don't even get me started with Dutch Bros. They literally load the whole thing up to ice and give you like this much coffee. And if you ask for it without ice, you think they're gonna fill this up with coffee? No. That would be like giving you three cups of coffee for the price of one. So they literally give you as much coffee as they normally put without ice. It's so stupid. POV, you think your smoothie is thick. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, okay, it was not bad. It was kind of thick, but not like a dummy bootylicious kind of thick. What are you flipping it upside down for? Like it ain't no blizzard where they gotta just like. Not a very good idea to do with water. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's not a blizzard. Stop. No, my keyboard is wet. <laughs> Hey, who did this? Who is responsible for this? I have never heard somebody so angry underwater. Who did this? Y'all couldn't even lay these tiles right. You thought nobody would notice? Because it's under the water? You know, I feel like whoever did this did this so that even if they pissed one person off, it would be enough for them to be satisfied. All they wanted to do was ruin somebody's day. Y'all ever try to whip up eggs and then the yolks don't want to cooperate? Don't want to get whipped? Slippery little fellows, aren't ya? You have to like literally like stab the yolks to get them to be blended along with the rest of them. This is why I get like one of those like handheld blenders and I just put my eggs in there and just press the button and it's like no one is safe from the spinning blade. Perfect scrambled eggs every time. Messing up my girlfriend's food before a fire photo. Why <laughs> did you just mess my food up? I messed your photo up, eh? Are you, are you serious right now? Food? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm leaving. I don't want to eat anymore. I'm leaving. Oh, he don't want to eat anymore. He's leaving after you just messed her food up. She's trying to take a photo. Not my fettuccine. She just grabbed the whole thing and just... Now I know what my girlfriend is capable of. I am scared. I'm going to leave. Oh, you don't want to eat your food anymore? Okay, perfect. More for me. When a car speeds by you, but y'all end up at the same red light. Okay, this is annoying and embarrassing because I'm the car that speeds past people. And then if we end up at the same light, I'm gonna blame the person who was going slow in front of me. You know, I have tinted windows and I can choose to like look forward. I don't have to look at you and your stupid smug expression, okay? You already know, as soon as this light turns green, I'm gonna zoom past you. Yes, I understand. It is more embarrassing for me because I tried to speed past and now look at us stuck at the same light because you wanted to go slow. I do what I want. Is this your birthday cake? Did you make it? This is only acceptable if you made the cake and you live alone. And nobody is here to witness this. Happy birthday, I guess. Now you have options in sizes. Everybody got that one person. You open up the drawer and everything is just, just chilling in there. It's a free for all. You need a fork, you find one. And the best part about this, whenever the dishes are clean, take a handful of silverware and just like toss it in there. Don't you just love when you plug something in and it covers the other outlet? They gotta like remake these, do a different shape. This basically takes up two outlets with one charger only because of the way it's shaped. And I just struggled with this problem and I had to get a longer extension thing. All because some chargers wanna be built different. Oh, you ever have your belt loop which is like catch on to something? Oh, no, no, no. When the door handle wanna pick a fight, but it's an inanimate object, it cannot feel pain. So you just have to accept the fact that a door handle bullied you. <laughs> oh, no. That was very annoying. A waste of precious espresso.
Only girls with long hair will understand. Yeah, every time I get into the car, I close the door on half my head of hair. You know what's even worse? When you get like one or two pieces of hair, they somehow just escape from the rest of your head and get shut on the door. And then when you go to sit down, it's just like, ah, pain. It's like the pain of these chairs all over again. Y'all ever just step on a Lego that it connects to your foot? Hey, that's in there good. So we just gonna sit here with a little Lego attachment. Oh, so, you know, if you walk on more Lego, you can probably build a Lego shoe around your foot and then eventually become immune to stepping on Legos. Your foot will only become more powerful when you go to the grocery store and it is the express lane, 15 items or less. And somebody with like 30 something items is gonna be like, mm, you know, I close enough. It was the shortest line, so I got into it. And it's for 15 items for a reason. I counted at least 27. Came up to the perfect temperature. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Did he just heat up his ice cream? That's not even ice cream anymore. It's clown juice. You know, you could just put the whole thing in the microwave for a few seconds or pour hot water on your spoon so it like scoops easier. There are many other ways to do this. Yeah, you here. Brew laying your Ben and Jerry's. Illegal, illegal, illegal. Go to jail. Oh, even worse, when you have a USB already plugged in and you try to plug in another one with a fancy jacket on that it doesn't want to go all the way in. You know, why couldn't they just be created equally without the unnecessary awkward shape? You know, it does not plug in well with others. You know when you sign up on an account for like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? These are the terms of service printed out that you are agreeing to. They don't give you a choice. Would you like to communicate with your relatives or not? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's Instagram's terms of service so long for? What are you hiding in there? Y'all are sus. I don't care, I'm still not gonna read it. You ever open your door and just... Oh. Just snowed in. I'm just gonna... At least the snow didn't go inside. Oh, you know what? This is actually a really good a idea. Bit. It's like a free freezer. No electricity required. Nature's fridge. Just pop Stick one in there, check in on it in a few there. hours, and it's perfectly in a little bit. What are you doing? What did you do to the burger? I am in the presence of a certified food waster. You know, this is the reason that we have to pay for sauces now. It's giving paint pouring, but with sauce. Dude, that's so gross. Raw tuna and Nutella, trust me on this. Okay, I love pickles, but don't even get me started with this. Raw tuna and Nutella, I don't think there is a single universe where this is considered tasty. Just putting Nutella on things does not make it good. Do, 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 do. Oh. Hey! Oh, egg fell. <laughs> Hurry up, get the egg. Oh, good thing it fell on the counter and not on the floor. Is this why the chicken crossed the road? Oh, the worst thing. When you pull up your zipper and it breaks and it is stuck in that little position, you can't zip it up and it stays open. Ugh. This happened to me a few years ago. I swore to never wear jeans again. I can have a job. Sure, do you have any experience? No. Then no. Why? Because you don't have any experience. So how do I get experience? Go get a job. How am I supposed to get a job without experience? Get a job and then you'll have experience. What? What? So then can you just hire me? No. Why? Because you don't have experience. So I need experience to get a job. I guess this is how it works. This is why you gotta lie on your resume. I mowed my father's lawn for six years straight. I took care of horses on my grandma's farm. I give unsolicited advice to birds in my free time. I guess. There's a bunch of entry level jobs that don't require experience, but yes, this is how it'd be for most jobs though.